Hi, I appreciate you tuning in. This is going to be a quick video on how we found out that on one of our real estate sites in San Diego, our bandwidth was getting ripped off. Uh, and this could happen to anybody, and it happens uh, very frequently on the web. You end up that you're hosting graphics on your site or photos, and other people are linking to them and on their site, and thereby uh, when people go to their site, it's pulling the graphic from your site and using up your bandwidth. And if that happens enough, uh, you'll end up having to increase your bandwidth limits and pay more money for your hosting account. Uh, and that's to say nothing of copyright infringement. While we're on that, if you look on all our sites, and you should have on yours, on the bottom here we have a copyright statement. And uh, so uh, not only can you do what we're going to show you here, but, uh, and I know some uh, webmasters that do it, they have uh, lawyers who send out a letter when they find an infringement like this, and it's not only to remove it, but it'll also to uh, pay a, uh, damages and or they'll see them in court. Now, if you are a, let's say, a real estate broker or some other type of businessman, it's not going to pay to go to court, especially on a case that you're going to lose. Uh, so uh, most of the time there's a settlement involved, and that settlement in involved can be uh, a couple thousand dollars easily. So this is something you don't want to do, and then if it is being done to you, you have to decide which way you want to go on it. Now let's take a look at this case over here. When we set up our accounts, we set up an alert that any time one of our accounts would ex exceed 80% of the normal bandwidth in a month, we get an email that notifies us because we host a lot of sites, as you can see over here. We got that account mid-month on one of our smaller sites here in San Diego, Fallbrook uh, Real Estate Agent. And um, we've changed it now, but we went over to look at the bandwidth usage at that time, and it was about 85% when normally, uh, mid-month, because of the way we set up our accounts, it should be nowhere, it should be around 40% or so on the way we set up our account. So after we did verify that that message was correct, uh, the next thing we did is we go to the site and we log into the site itself. Everybody has a um, uh, statistics package on their site. They should learn how to use it. And this is one on ours. We went in for the... Um, for the current month to take a look at what was happening and gauge it against the other months. And we, uh, we found that the traffic seemed to be, the number of visits seemed to be about the same. This is a small real estate site. Total visits at that time, and we're talking about unique visits here, not hits, was 97. So we couldn't imagine why we were exceeding that. So we scrolled down some more to see what was happening here. We don't want to get too technical here, but if you go down, you should have something like this. And this is uh, the top 30 of 64, whatever number, URLs from your site that are being accessed. And a URL is a uniform resource code or the name uh, in the address bar of your browser of your site, like www.microsoft.com, etc. And normally the first one, I'd say in 99.9% .9 of the time would be something like this. It'll be just a slash because that's your main site name right there. That should be number one. And then there's a number of other little things, uh, themes, uh, graphics, and stuff that load, and they come in second here, and uh, then you'll see search engines, etc. down here, what's being called up when uh, different pages load. But in this case, you can see up here, the first one over here was an image that was loading. The image was loading more often than access the people accessing our main page. So there's a tip off right there. And now we have the address of the image on our site. So that's number one. We know where the problem file is. And then you can scroll down a little further And these are uh, different tables of uh, what pages are being accessed. But if you come down, everybody has this, and this is total referrers. What this means is this is the site, the URLs, the address, where people were, visitors were right before they went into your site. And depending on how you have your site set up, usually 
most of them will be here, would, home would be here first, or direct request. Somebody types in www.microsoft.com. That's a direct request. And then these are other pages on you. They're all, you can see, have Fallbrook in the name because they're Fallbrook. They're part of the site. And here's one that's not from somebody else. And if you go down here, you can see a Google search over here and Google images, um, different uh, places where people were. But what's unusual here, again, if you look, and this is measured in hits on this thing, uh, we had 29% of the hits were direct site, but 46% were coming from this other site, uh, a Blogspot site, which is a free uh, blog uh, hosting site. So right away we know where the offender is over here. We know what files involved. So the next thing we do is we take a look at our site and let's see what that file is. And what the file turned out to be is this picture that we took ourselves of a property in San Diego. So uh, they were or had linked to this site and were taking this picture off our site and using it on their own site. So then we ta went to take a look at their site and um, this is a blog and they were using the picture kind of like this on their site. So what we did is we went back to our site and we, instead of removing the picture or just changing the name, we went in and we left the name the same, but we changed the picture. Okay, so we let it still be called up by their server. And what we did is we just changed it. So now, if you scroll down on their blog, we'll see how quick they notice it. You see they have a lot of different pictures here. And where our picture was before, see if it's still there. Now we have this and it says uh, the best real estate blog is and we put down our main real estate blog right over here. So instead of using the picture of the house we just artistically uh, faded it out and put this in. So now we have their kind of uh, advertising now by by ripping off our image now they're advertising for us and so we'll leave it at that for now. We still have the image as you saw on our site because what we did is we just changed the name of this image. So the image is still there, but the name that they were uh, ripping it off under, we changed that image over there. So now we got a free ad on their site. So that's something you should be aware of. Number one, you should know your website very well, know how much traffic how much bandwidth it normally uses and check it occasionally. If your server has the capability to give you alerts when your space or bandwidth exceeds, let's say I'd say 80%, you should definitely do that by an email because uh, people can, by stealing your images and stuff, can crash your site. Uh, I happen to be in a good mood when we did this but uh, I am telling you myself uh, now for people stealing my content, uh, we are considering having a lawyer look at this and it'll be easy money for them and it's uh, pretty much a slam dunk case. So, uh, uh, you know, it's just something that you have to consider uh, what it, which way you want to go. But, you know, uh, since you're paying for bandwidth, you're paying for hosting, uh, don't let people rip you off. Thanks for listening.